the milk is always correlated with calcium. So what is calcium in the first place? Calcium is a mineral that's found in the soil. Plants, through the roots, they get the mineral. And then it's the same thing. Animals are getting calcium by eating plants. So it's not that this is something produced by animals. It's, it's a mineral that's being taken from the plants. It's the same thing. What you do is cut the middleman out. The other thing is with milk. Okay, what happens if I uh, get calcium from milk or if I use milk as, as my source of calcium? As Arjun was mentioning in his uh, uh, protein uh, section, when you compare animal amino acids, they're acidic. Your body always tries to maintain a certain pH. It always has to maintain a neutral pH around. So if you're taking any food that is acidic, so your body tries to bring back to neutral pH by taking the calcium from your bones. So whenever you're drinking that milk, actually, since your acidity is increasing, your body is taking the calcium out of the bones. So you're actually losing uh, calcium from your bones and causing osteoporosis. And foods that are rich in calcium, like greens and beans, are the means for your calcium. So when, whenever you're taking those plenty of green leafy vegetables, beans, legumes, you're getting enough calcium. So um, to be more specific, like for every gram of animal protein you take, you end up losing one milligram of calcium in the urine. So it's actually the more uh, meat and the dairy products we take, the more calcium you lose in the urine. And uh, uh, let me ask you this, so why does cow make milk? Why does a cow make milk? <laughs> yeah, if anyone has any trouble, just think of it. Why does a dog make milk? To feed its puppies, right? Why does cow make milk? To feed its baby calf. So right? you, by, by taking that cow's milk, that baby calf is, is growing from 60 pounds at birth to almost 800 pounds, 800 pounds in, in, uh, in one year. So that everything in that cow's milk, the, the, the amount of saturated fat, the amount of calcium, the amount of protein, everything, I, the growth, growth yeah. factors, mm -hmm. everything is geared, is geared towards the rapid growth. You are done growing. We are all done growing. <laughs> right? We are, we are done growing. We only need, you know, you know, a certain amount of nutrients, certain amounts of, you know, calories to, to, to maintain our function. So the more of these growth promoting factors that we get from the dairy, the more risk of getting cancers and the more inflammation. The thing about uh, yogurt is it's still a dairy product, right? It's still a dairy product. Where do you get the yogurt from? get it from cow's milk. Like you take the cow's milk and you add, uh, you know, you coagulate it with some bacteria and you get the yogurt. But the thing is, even that yogurt has saturated fat in it, it has animal protein in it, it has growth promoting factors in it. And uh, on top of that, the store-bought yogurts that you get have a lot of added sugar. Have you, I don't know whether you guys actually tasted the real yogurt, like the fresh made yogurt. Has anyone tasted of a yogurt that is freshly made? Right? So we, we, we grew up with the culture, like in India, my, our moms every day, they used to take the, the cow's milk and while growing up, they would heat it up, like, you know, and then bring it back to room temperature, add a little bit of curd, we call curd or yogurt, and next day morning, it will turn into yogurt. It's actually a little bit bitter and a little bit sour. To make that into the, the sweet yogurt, it's, it, they have to add a lot of sugar to it. And the, uh, sometimes you might see things like, okay, what about the probiotics, right? The probiotics, the amount of probiotics in yogurt are very, very, very tiny. Like you know, if you were to get probiotics from yogurt that you need, you'll have to eat like you know, tubs and tubs of yogurt. With that, you'll be getting a lot of saturated fat, a lot of cholesterol, a lot of animal protein. 
can we get some probiotics? So the, the, the question on probiotics, so where can we get some probiotics? The thing is, probiotics are healthy bacteria, healthy gut bacteria. Uh, when you change, your, when you're giving lots of fiber for, for your gut, uh, when you're eating lots of fruits and vegetables and beans and grains, your gut bacteria, that 100 trillion gut bacteria, they change within two to three weeks. They go from you know, different kinds of unhealthy bacteria to a lot of healthy bacteria. So the, the, the fiber in the diet is, all, is acting as a, what we call prebiotic. It is nourishing those good bacteria, so we call that as a prebiotic. So you actually don't need any external probiotics when you're eating fruits and vegetables because you're getting a lot of prebiotics. Mm -hmm.